don't know. That is amazing. Oh That's my unbelievable. god. That's unbelievable. <laughs> Just saying that. <laughs> no, the, the oh, voice doesn't really match the head, does it? <laughs> wow. What's your name? My name's Mick. I'm Mick Harrington. I'm 32 and I'm from Stratford, Victoria. East wind is gonna blow. Bring dreams we cannot know. I own my own lawn mowing gardening business. So every day is on the ride on. get the lawns mowed, the gardens tidied, and work hard every day for my children and for my beautiful partner. Yeah, I've got two little girls. My eldest is Bella, she's nearly four, and um, my little girl Katie, a little ginger girl, she is 14 months. There's a world for you and me. voice has the potential to change everything for me, so it's just so foreign to me to be in the studio. The most massive change from mowing lawns every day. I'm nervous, very, very nervous. Nerves can get the better of me sometimes. If I can get through this and sing my heart out, perhaps I might be able to change their life. That's, to, to me, I'm just processing somebody who has you mow their lawns and they're sitting inside not knowing that you can do that. Yeah, I mean, mm. what? Mm. That is, that's just phenomenal. I mean, to me, you are literally why we put this show on. Yeah. Thank you, I appreciate it. One of, the, one of the things I love about this show is it really can epitomise that you cannot judge a book by its cover. Yeah. You, you really, really can't. Can. There's a, there's a, just an absolute beauty in your voice and it's all spirit, it's pure spirit. And we all felt it, it's why we all turned around. Look at us, this is unbelievable. <laughs> I just have things going on internally that, that, are, that are, they haven't switched off yet. It's this tingling and this weird kind of bubbling in my stomach and it was just because I was so moved. I, I, actually, I sung that song a long time ago uh, myself on a, on a show like this and, and racked full of nerves, it's not easy. It, there's so much space mm. and you've got to occupy that space and you occupied it so beautifully, so moving. And I would absolutely kill to have you on my team. I just, is this your family? To your kids? This is my beautiful family just here, yes. Oh. <laughs> you wait, please? Say hi. <laughs> Hello, legend, what's your name? Ah. That's Bella. 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 And my beautiful partner, Beck. Oh. Can I ask you, Bella, do you think 
Daddy is a better singer or a better lawnmower? A better singer. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he sure is. I think you have a very clear understanding of what you can do with your vocal ability. I think you're very aware of how you sing and how good you are at it. Um, I think that you are going to be a blessing in this competition because it's going to be super easy coaching you with a vo voice like that. And I feel like, um, you know, your, your story is also super real and, and very relatable. And, and hopefully I can get to know you better and, you know, we can enjoy this journey together. Thanks, Rita. Thank I you, Rita. really do. Thank you so very much for serenading us with that, like, impeccable voice. Look, I... I... I really want you on my team. I feel like I want to know a little bit more about you. How did it all, all happen for you to be here today? Uh, everything I do is just for, the, for these guys over here and just to try and give them a better life. I feel like I have well, I've been where you are standing. This moment, I know, is going to change your life. So I want that. I want that for you. So take us out of our misery, yeah. <laughs> please. And let's... Uh... For me, it's such a massive choice. I think I need to bring out my three best friends to help me choose Shirley. Yeah, let's yeah. do it. Let's do it, yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'll take you up. There you go. I've got, I've got little girls, don't you worry. Hello. Hi, Bella. Hi, Kelly. You say thank you. Your shoes. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> hey, come here. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Are you goodness. good? Thank you. Thanks, Beck. Good girl. Hi. Did you say hello to everyone? Hi, hello. family. <laughs> <laughs> so one got the red hair, one got the blonde hair. <laughs> <laughs> well, before I make a decision... Yeah. I have a much bigger decision for someone else to make. Oh, no. Will you marry me? You gotta give me a left hand. <laughs> Oh I suppose it's nearly time to make a decision, Bella. What do you think? <laughs> so who Adorable. should Daddy yes. go with? Because we all want him. Who do you think? What colour? Well, I can't go against Bella's wishes. And I've always loved Jess, so I'm going to go with you, Jess. Yeah. Oh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Amazing. Two more artists competing for a coveted spot on Team Jess are both memorable four-chair turns. Lawnmower man Mick and theatrical powerhouse Sean. And so the song I'm giving you today is Sweet Dreams by Eurythmics. Oh, oh yes. Oh my god, Annie Lennox. The important thing yeah. is they have to make it their own. I'm definitely feeling a bit vulnerable, but all I have to do is just sing from the heart. Sweet dreams are made of thieves. Who Am I to disagree? It's so nerve-wracking watching Sean perform in that moment. I'm just not the singer Sean is. Sean's rendition hit every note pitch perfect. Looking for love, some of them want to be used by you. Cause every 
everybody's looking for love. Oh, beautiful. No pressure, Meg. I know, right? <laughs> so I'm guitar and mic still. I didn't know you played guitar. Not just a lawnmower guy. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> For me, it's going to be a real challenge to try and bring who I am to this song because it's a little outside my normal genre. But I, I love to play and I just wanted to bring that into the song. Sweet dreams are made of these Oh, I'm about to desecrate Travel worlds and travel seven seas Mick? Outstanding. Really had me and my heart racing. Michael has brought something so different to this song. He's made it into the most haunting ballad. <laughs> wow. Well, they couldn't be more different. I felt like I was watching an artist when I was watching both of them. How am I meant to choose between these two? It's really impossible. I can only take five through to the next round, and there's two of you in front of me. I think we both portrayed the song as honestly and as heartfelt as we can, and um, yeah, hopefully that came through. Oof. Give me a minute. I hope she makes the right decision. I hope she picks me. The person who I'm taking through to the next round is... It's both of you! Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. oh my God. You know, I really thought I was going to be the one to go home. Oh, my God! How can you do that to us? Thank you so much, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know you made a ginger cry. I'm a bit overwhelmed, to be honest. Just to be able to do this for the people I love, yeah. You don't understand how thankful I am. I was so lucky to have you on my team. It's so different, this world, for me. Um, but it's such a massive opportunity. And show my kids that it doesn't matter where you're from or how much money you have or you can do anything you want to do. I've got a little picture here for you that I would like to show you. And I want you to tell me who the man is you see in this photo. That's just a guy that's desperate to, to look after his kids, you know, to make sure that they have what they need. A little while ago, I had a professional boxing match. I took up boxing to, um, try and get some dollars in the door, get their bank balance looking a little healthier. No one really likes to box. It's not fun getting hit in the face at all. I jump into a ring every day for the rest of my life of it meant making sure my girls have what they need. what I see, a man that will go all the way to the ends of the earth to provide. Yeah, I'll do any, anything for those girls. Every day, it's just what you do. Yeah. When sorry, you... I'm getting so emotional yeah, because sorry. you want to protect your family and you'd go and do anything just because you want to keep them safe. And that was the whole reason why I got into music in the first place was that somehow out of all of this, that I could give back to my family as much as they've given to me. The opportunity that The Voice presents me is, is everything. It's, it's massive for me. This just has such potential to change not only my life, but my family's life. I guess you want to know what song you're singing? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I've been so nervous about this. <laughs> well, I have given you a challenge this week. A very well-known female song. Oh. Yeah. It's an Avril Lavigne song. I'm with you. Oh, really? Yeah. That's so different. I'm a little nervous. Hopefully I do it justice. I have no experience, no singing lessons, none of that sort of stuff. So for me, it's a very challenging song. It's not something I would normally tackle. Take me by the hand and take me somewhere new. I don't know who you are, but I, I'm with you. I'm with you. Oh, it will go. 
up to there now. It, it's got a lot of range. I'm not sure if I'm going to hit every note. I'm with you. You reckon like you got that? that? Oh, I don't know if I can. Uh, uh, ha, uh, ha, uh, uh, can it be? Can I do it in falsetto or not? No, I reckon it's stronger if, you, if you hit a okay. chest. I right here. you got it. I reckon. No way. Oh, I don't know if I can. There's this sense of not believing in himself. You got this. It's just like stepping into that ring with confidence. It's and you go and you go for it and you see your family in it. They, yeah, it doesn't you know, matter I what love I'm doing. Them. I'm gonna fight for them. Yeah. yeah. Jess has only got two spots. I need to hit these notes if I'm going to be any chance of getting through. It's really make or break. If I don't get this right, I'm going home, so it's that big of a deal. He has to step up and believe in himself and know that he's gotten this far. This is definitely his biggest challenge. Standing on a bridge, waiting in the dark, thought that you'd be here by now. There's nothing but the rain, no footsteps on the ground. I'm listening, but there's no sound. Isn't anyone trying to fight me? Come on. Won't somebody come take me home? It's a damn club now. Come on. But you're trying to figure out. Step you by the hand, take me something with you. I don't know who you are, but I have a win in your heart. Oh, oh, oh. I the oh, oh, oh. Won't you step you by the hand, take me something with you. I don't know who you are, but I am with you. Fantastic. Thank you so much. I think you should be really proud of it. You know, I think for me, your tone is spectacular. You know, you're a great storyteller. And I don't know if that's because you've got kids, but you do really tell a story well, and that's what you need to do to be an incredible musician. So well done. Thank you so much. Thank you. Just watching you on this stage, I mean, you still feel like a fish out of water here. Like you don't belong and on that stage. and. Honestly, man, like, you do belong there. I, I want, I want to tell you that. That means a lot from you, Jess. It really does. Thank you. You're not just Mick the lawnmower. You could be Mick the megastar. <laughs> Jess, you've mm. already taken Ella yes. through to the semi-final, and Sean is waiting for your decision at the end of the night. So you have one spot left in the semi-final. I sure do. Will you take Mick straight through to the semi-final right now, or do you need a little longer to make up your mind? Oh, oh my goodness. OK, Mick, I have so much belief in you, but I'm worried that if I put you through, can you walk out onto that stage and own it? <gasps> I am going to send you to the waiting room. Oh. I just need more time to think about it. All right. Head on over. You can join Sean in the waiting room. The artist <laughs> I'm going to take to the semifinals is Mick. Congratulations, Mick. Welcome, Mick. 
my former boxer, my lawnmower man, and now Mega Mick on the mega stage. That's what's up. How are you feeling, brother? I'm really excited, yeah. It's incredible to be in Jess's top two. It's, um, it's really humbling. Yeah, I really thought I probably would go home. So it was a, it was a real relief. Why did you think that? Um, I don't know, I just, I'm surrounded by so much talent and I thought it was probably my turn to check out. But, there yeah. you go again. <laughs> you do act like you're not meant to be here. Mick is like from a different world. He, he feels like he doesn't belong, but he, he, he has it. I think he really has to believe in what he has. I do have a little surprise for you before we get started. Oh, okay. I thought you might need a little hit from home. Have you been missing your girls? Oh, yeah, you don't even know how much, yeah. Yeah. Okay, let me call them. <gasps> Say hello. 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 Come on over, Mick, come. Oh, my God. Hey, Bubba. How are you? <laughs> oh, hi, Beck. Hi, Jack. What did you think when he first told you he was going to do this? Um. I actually thought he would do well, which was why I was hesitant. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Well, you were right, Beck. I miss you girls, you know. Oh. We're very proud of Daddy, aren't we? I'm homesick every day. I haven't seen them for, for so long, so, yeah, it was so good to see their faces. Cheers. See you, Beth. Have fun. Yeah. Enjoy. Love you, babe. Mash it. <laughs> I love you guys. We love you so very much. Bye. Love you, darling. Bye. I, 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 obviously, I miss my girls more than anything in the world, but it's um, a bit of short-term pain for hopefully long-term gain. So the song I've chosen for Mick for the semi-final is called Superman by Five for Fighting. You know, I chose this song because it, it is about finding courage and having self-belief, and you, you definitely need those things. Can you relate? Yeah, I think I can. Yeah. One, two, three, four. I can't stand to fly. Jess really wants me to believe in what I can do and believe that I belong here in the competition. I, I do believe in Mick and I really feel that this moment is make or break for Mick. You know, if he doesn't sing the song um, and the lyrics and believe in them, he's out, you know, it'll be it for him. It is high stakes and I am here for the most important reason anyone could have and that's your family. I want this more than anything, like I've never wanted anything like I want this. It's not easy to be me. The artist that I'm taking to the grand finale is... Oh. 
I'm taking you, Mick. What an achievement, Mick. How good does that feel? Oh, I can't even, I can't fathom it. Yeah, thank you so much, Jess. It's, yeah, it's an honor. It's an absolute honor to be a part of your team. What are you and Mick gonna do for the grand finale duet? Well, we're doing something really special. I, I chose this song because not only do I have a connection with it, but I think it speaks everything about this country and its history. And it is Solid Rock by Gowanna. Oh my God. Oh, Whoa. That's awesome. Yes. Good choice. Yeah. I'm, yeah. So, I'm so excited for this. Like, <laughs> honestly, it's one of the songs that I like. My dad, it's one of my dad's favorite songs growing up. I'm really excited to be able to do something, you know, that has so much heart, but also has messages, you know, that's so deep. Mm. You know. Jess is someone that I've looked up to as an artist, and it's just astonishing to think I'd share the same stage as somebody as accomplished as her. Changes, not in a hurry anyway. You can feel the endlessness with the coming of the light of day. You're talking about a chosen place. You want to sell it in a marketplace. Well. Sitting on solid rock. Sitting on sacred ground. I suppose you want to know what your grand finale song is. Yes, that'd be awesome. How Do I Live by Leanne Rives. Oh, that's, yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. I think the lyrics are true to you and your story because it is about unconditional love for a family. Yeah, from my perspective, I would look at it as in like how much I can't live without my girls, without my mum. Like that's the glue that holds everything together for me. Just imagining what life would be without any of those guys in it, that's the emotion I have to tap into for this song to, to be at its best. You are my world, my heart, my soul Have you ever leave? Baby, you would take away everything God in my life And tell me <laughs> <laughs> What? Uh, Let me in. Oh. <laughs> it was very hard to keep that secret. <laughs> Oh, Megan, tell me what you think about Mick. A mix of fighter in whatever he does. He's just um, a beautiful person <laughs> and a beautiful singer. And now he's proving it to everyone. And um, yeah, so proud of him. Oh. Mum's been the ultimate supporter through everything I've done in my life. So yeah, can't thank her enough. I'm here with you all the way, brother. You just got so much fire and this is that time to show it. How do I 
get through one night without you If I had to live without you What kind of life would that be? Oh, and I need you in my arms, need you to hold You're my world, my heart, my soul If you ever leave Baby, you would take away goodness that was really like that's they're so beautiful your family they're so proud of you Rita has Mick done his girls proud tonight Mick I feel like I don't even know where to start with you you know for me it's almost like your journey is the most extraordinary but what kills me the most is that every time you sing and blow it out of the park you have no idea how good you actually are because it shows. So your performance tonight was, for me, the most endearing because you're amazing. Thank you so much. So, well done. Did you ever think that you'd be standing here in the grand finale, Mick? No, I didn't. Look, um, I'm just a, you know, I'm just a country boy. I'm just a, a mole man and um, I, I just did this to better my life and to better the girls' lives. Yeah. And, yeah it's wow. very humbling to be up here, to be honest. Oh. <laughs> This guy is unbelievable. Like, I'm totally lost for words every time he opens his mouth. You know, Mick, you say you're, you know, a normal guy from a country town, but you're, you're more than that. When you sing and that voice comes out, it's bigger, and I want you to remember that, okay? <laughs> this song changed my life at one point, and it's definitely changed yours. Definitely. The winner of The Voice 2021 is...